So today's workout is a standing ab and core workout that you can do at home. And as your qualified online trainer, Lucy and Maid, I've put together this workout. So we're actually gonna do eight minutes today. I'm gonna to be doing it with you in real time. We've simply got four moves. Each of those moves we do for a duration of 60 seconds and we repeat the round twice. The benefit for this is not only am I gonna be working your core and your waist, but also gonna be working a little bit of cardio and this is where standing abs are really super effective. So what I would say, if you haven't already done a warm up, simply hit the pause button, march on the spot, say 30 seconds, and then when you're ready, I'm ready to start working your abs and your core right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly show you each of the moves. So the first move, we're going to stand with the hands, we're going to be supporting the head, then all you're going to do is just imagine you're drawing a little bit of a circle with the leg. So that's going to be move one. Then move two, we're going straight to a side crunch. Then move three, we do four punches and a bow and arrow pull back. And then the last one, we go three knees and one straight leg kick. But I'm going to go through it with you and be doing it with you in real time. So let's get ready to come into position. So for this first move, it's all about really working your core. And what we're doing is we're using this as stabilization. So you're going to start with your arms here, all right, have both knees slightly bent, pull in those tummy muscles as tight as you can, think of this as your anchor. Now take one leg in front, now imagine just draw a circle, then bring it back to the other leg, draw a circle. But what I want you to do is really keep this upper body as straight as you can. So you might look at this and think, well hang on, I'm working the legs, how's that working the arms, um, the abs, sorry. Because what I'm doing is, naturally, my body would want to travel with that leg, but by keeping my upper body straight as I'm traveling through is how I'm really working these stabilization muscles. All right, that's good. So keeping that going, all right. Abs stay really tight, and also the benefit here, we're getting a sneaky little thigh workout as well at the same time. All right, and if you wanna make that harder, make that move a little bit bigger, abs stay tight, that's it. Then we're gonna straight on, oh, we've got princess on set. And now let's take it here. Crunch that one and down. So we're gonna do 30 seconds one side and really draw that in as much as you can. So now I've changed the workout, the exercise. So now we're really working into your waist, I'm working those internal and external obliques. That's gonna shape your waist. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. So today it's not about speed. We're just going nice and slowly. Let's get ready to now take that to the other side. So we're crunching that over, crunch over and back. Let me just show you from the side as well. So you can see and reach that and just work to the range of motion that suits you. You might not be able to get the leg that high, just do what feels comfortable. But remember, every time you work out, you're investing in your future health. You'll find your balance becomes better and you become more flexible. Okay, that's good. And now let's change. So give me four dynamic punches, go four three, reach across, two, and one. Now imagine you're pulling back a bow and arrow, four. Let's go three, take it, two, and one. Give me four punches, four. Go three, two, and one, and four bow and arrows, four. Take it, three, two, and one. Four punches, four, three, two, and one. So you could speed this one up if you want to. Then it becomes a little bit more cardio, but really the key thing is, Make sure those punches, take them as far back or over to the side as you can. So then you're really feeling that through the waist. Three, take it two and one. And also draw that elbow back as far as you can for me. Two and one and take it four. Go three, two, one. Take it four. Go three, two, one. And again, four, three, two and one. Now, next one, this time, give me four, three, sorry, two and one, then take it straight leg. Go one, two, three, take it straight leg. Go one, two, three, 
straight leg, that's good. So you're really working now so much through your core. Obviously, we're working here, the bonus, your legs and arms are getting a little bit of toning while we're focusing on really working your abs. So you go three and then straight leg. My counting's a bit bad, so I might occasionally do one extra. All right, that's good. Three and kick, take it one, two, three and kick. One, two, three, take that kick, take it. One, two, three, take that kick, go one, two, three, add that kick. All right, well done. So that is a round done. I you need to hit pause, grab some water. If not, we're going to get straight into doing the second round. Same moves again for just four minutes. So we are really going to get maximum results for your core. Okay, so let's come into position, arms up, knees slightly bent, tummy muscles pulled in, and let's get ready. Give me that big circle. So the bigger you make the circle, the more you're going to feel that through those abdominals. So it's part what you're doing here. Even though we're not really moving your trunk, your core, what we're doing is we're having to really fully engage it for stabilization. So it's helping stabilize your body as you take that leg through that full transition. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. And a really fully engage this area, pull in that belly button as tight to your spine as you can. Circle that round. The slower you do this as well, the harder it is because you've got less momentum. So you're having to work those core muscles even harder. Big circle, circle that round, tummy stays tight, nearly finished, last time we're doing this one today. All right, that's good. And now let's bring it into that side crunch. So we crunch it, crunch it down. So you could, if you want to make it a bit harder, add double, if you find that too hard, keep the hand on the hip. So reach that down. Remember we're doing 30 seconds one side, 30 the other. So through your core, you've got several muscles we want to be working. The transverse abdominus, that's your deepest abdominal muscle. Then you've got your internal and external obliques. All right, change sides. And they help with doing twist rotations like we're doing now. And then the top layer of the abdominal muscles, the rectus abdomus. And that is the lung muscle that runs down the front of the tummy that we're engaging especially on that last move today. All right, that's good. And keeping that going. Not the most elegant of the exercise this one, but who cares? Because what it's doing is good. All right, reach that over. Doing really well. Let's get ready now and punch it. Give me four, three, two, one. Bow and our arms. Three, take it two and one. Punch it up. Four, three, two, one. Bow and our arms. Four, go three, two and one, four punches, four, three, two, one, draw that back. Now what is really important when you're doing this is keep those hips facing forwards, all right? So we're not moving the hips. This means now we're really working massively through those waist muscles, all right? If I was doing it wrong, and I'm gonna show you on this next one, I'm doing it like this, then I've changed the work and it's coming through here. That's why it's important. Keep those hips as still as you can. Four, go three, two, and one. Take it one, go two, three, and four. Um, oh my goodness, one. Oh, your trainer is clearly out of sync on this last one. That's good. So next one, this one, give me three, two, and one, and then straight leg. Go three, two, and one, straight leg. Take it three, two, one, straight leg. So this is a really good core workout that you could do as often as you want. Like anything, I always say to people, try my workouts, do them for seven days, and then you will feel amazing results. You know, it's consistency that is key. We don't want to just do a workout once or twice because it's about making it a habit, all right? And the stronger your core, 
the fitter you become. Having a strong core helps in so many different ways. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. We are nearly finished on this one. And let's just go an extra one on this one and finish with a kick. All right, so well done. What I would say is let's just quickly march it out. Let's just get that heart rate back down because the good thing is here, whilst we've been working the core and the abs, we've also worked the most important muscle of all, your heart. So we just wanna get that heart rate back down. And of course, you and I, as your online trainer, we always have to do on these at the end of the workout. There is your massive high five. So just circle through the arms and if you want to do more work for the abs for this area, don't forget I've got my series of um, seven minute workouts that really target around here doing standing ab cardio. I'll leave a link just up there. That's the playlist. And then also if you want to do a full cool down stretch with me at the end of the video, I'll leave another link. So well done for today's workout and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.